Before the 1800s, about the best people could do with electricity was make big sparks. People devised all kinds of clever devices to create these sparks. <laughs> it certainly wowed the crowd, but it didn't really benefit mankind. It was mostly entertainment. But everything changed around the year 1800, when Alessandro Volta found that two different metals placed in a weak acid could cause a separation of charge. Suppose I took zinc and carbon and placed it in a weak sulfuric acid solution. The zinc and carbon are called electrodes. Usually we use two different metals, but carbon will work. It's not a non-metal. And the solution is called the electrolyte. Because of chemical reactions, one will become positively charged and the other terminal negatively charged. And we now have a separation of charge. And if we put a wire between them, charge will flow from one terminal to the other because a potential difference is set up. This is a battery. And the potential difference in a battery like this is often called an electromotive force. Given the symbol E as shown, or simply called EMF. And it's helpful to think of this as a force-like quantity that pushes charge through a wire. Do you realize how amazing this discovery is and how much it has actually impacted your life? The fact that we can have and control the flow of uh, electric charge means that we can now have computers and heaters and lights and iPods and electric guitars and all of the things that make our modern world what it is. All the things that are part of your daily life. Electric current, the flow of charge. Electric current is given the symbol I and it's considered to be the rate of flow of charge and is written as Q divided by T. Q is the charge measured in coulombs, divided by T, the time in seconds. The unit for the electric current is coulomb per second. And this is also called an ampere.